In this activity, I will continue to demonstrate how to create more decision and message elements and a new step element for the seat assignment selection in the BoomiFlow employee app. Now on the BoomiFlow build canvas, well, let's locate another decision element and we're going to place it to the right of our check corporate credit card decision element. So we're going to put that right here. And then in the name text box, I'm going to enter check seat assignment question mark and then click on save decision. Then I will place a message element below the decision element we just put on the canvas. And here you'll see you can use the dotted red lines to pretty much line up all of your elements to keep it nice and neat. And then for the name text box here, we're going to put in send email to requester colon seat assignment. And then I'll click on save message. And then we're just going to create an outcome between our two decision elements. And here in the name text box, I'm going to put in the text corporate credit card colon no. So if the checkbox for a corporate credit card is not clicked, our flow would go down this path essentially. Then here I'm going to click on save outcome. Now I'm going to double click on our seat assignment message element. And here I'm going to click on new message action. So for the service from the dropdown, we're going to select our Gmail service that we created. And then I'm going to select send email simple. Then I'll click on select or create a new value for the body. And I'm going to click on create a new value. And here in the name text box, I'm going to enter the text send email to requester colon seat assignment colon body. And then in the default value box, I'm going to enter hello and then insert the first name value and then place a comma. So then we'll insert the value. I'm going to select my first name string value. And then we'll place a comma at the end of the line. And then we'll move down to the next line. And here I'm going to enter your request for seat assignment has been successfully submitted, period. You should be receiving an email from our admin shortly. Then I'll just move down to the next line. And then I'm going to enter please use your unique ID colon. And then here I'm going to insert my unique ID value. So I'm going to click on insert value. And I'm just going to search by the ID. Here we have our unique ID, so I'm going to click on that string value. Then I'm just going to place a space and then type in as reference to check the status of your request. And then we'll move down to the next line. And then I'm just going to put in thank you comma, move down to the next line, and enter Del Boomi. And then we can click on save. So that's the email that will be sent. Then we're going to click on select or create a new value. Here, if you recall, we're going to click on our username, so our Gmail service, boomiflowtraining at gmail.com username. And then we're going to click on select or create a new value for the subject. And we're just going to click on create a new value. And here in the name text box, we're just going to enter send email to requester colon seat assignment colon subject. And then in the default text box, we're going to enter seat assignment colon request submitted and then click on save. And then for two, we're going to click on select or create a new value. And here we're going to click on our email string value. And then we can click on apply message action. And so we have our email message created. Now we're going to click on save message. Now we're going to create an outcome from our seat assignment decision element to our send email to requester message element here. And in this name text box, we're going to enter seat assignment colon yes, and then click on create business rules. And then we're going to click on new rule. 
click on select or create a new value. And then here we're going to find our seat assignment boolean value. So I'm just going to enter the word seat here. And here we have our seat assignment boolean value. I'm going to select that. And then from this drop down, we're going to select equal to or the equal sign and then click on select or create a new value. And this is going to be our dollar sign true Boolean system value. So we've set our business rules. So if the checkbox is ticked for seat assignment, then they will receive the email message that we've created. We're going to click on save. And then we can save the outcome. And then we're going to place a step element below our message element again. And then here in the name text box, we're going to enter seat assignment colon request submitted. And then in the content editor, we're going to enter hello, insert the first name value and then place a comma. So we're going to insert our first name value here. And then comma and come down to a new line. And we're going to enter your request for seat assignment has been successfully submitted. You should be receiving an email from our admin shortly. Then once we've entered that text, we can create a new line, thank you comma, down to a new line, and enter Del Boomi. And so once we've entered that text, we can save the step. And then we're just going to create an outcome from our message element to our step element. And we're going to name this outcome display confirmation. Then we can click on save outcome. Now we're going to create an outcome from our corporate credit card request submitted step element to our check seat assignment decision element. Then in the name text box, we're going to enter the words seat assignment. And for label, we're going to enter done. So this will create a clickable button that will have the word done on it. And for the appearance, we're going to select done from what kind of action is this. So that will render as a white button in our app then. So we're going to click on save outcome. Now we're going to bring our thank you step element back into our flow. So I'm going to drag this back and place it next to my seat assignment decision element. And then I'm going to create an outcome from my seat assignment decision element to my thank you step here. And in the name text box, I'm just going to enter seat assignment colon no. And then click on save outcome. I'm also going to create an outcome from my seat assignment request submitted step element to my thank you step element then. And here in the name and label text boxes, I'm going to enter the words thank you. And then for the appearance, I'm going to select submit from the drop down. So thank you will be created as a clickable button in the app then. And I'm going to click on save outcome. So this is our flow now, and I'm going to publish the flow now to take a look at how it works as our app. So I'm going to click on the publish icon, and then in the text box here, I'm going to enter boomiflow hyphen employee app hyphen completed, and then click on publish, and then run the flow. And now here we see our flow in our new window. So we're going to click on let's get started. And I'm going to make some selections here and enter some information to make sure everything's working properly. So I'm going to click on my salutation. I'm going to select Mr. Then I'm going to enter my first and last name. And I'll enter a phone number. And then an email. And then I'll select my office. 
I'm going to say that I would like a work phone. I'm just going to select brand one. And then I'll take a company car. I'll select brand two here. My four digit pin, I'm just going to make it all fours. And then I'm going to check the boxes for corporate credit card and seat assignment. Then I'll click on submit. And here we can see that my request has been successfully submitted for a corporate credit card. So I can click on done. And my request for a seat assignment has been successfully submitted as well. Then I can just click on thank you. And then here I can see all of my information again. So we've checked that everything's working properly in our app. The next thing that we want to check is if we received the emails that we were supposed to receive when we submitted our responses to the form. So here you can see the two emails that I've received for my corporate credit card submission and my seat assignment submission. And here you'll see the email message that we created as well as my unique ID is being referenced. Again, my unique ID is being referenced and the email message that I created for each path is working properly. So everything in our app looks to be working properly up to this point. So we can close out of our app and return to the flow platform. And then we can close the publish flow window. Now that we're back in the flow platform on the build canvas, let's click on the run icon. And so here we can just run our flow again by clicking on run. And then our app is reopened and we're going to click on let's get started. And this time I'm going to enter the information again. This time, however, if you see the selections that I've made, I've selected remote for my office location. So therefore I won't be needing a seat assignment since I'll be working remotely. So I've entered all the other information and I'm going to click on submit. And then we can see that I have a response for my corporate credit card. And when I click on done, I'm taken to the thank you step element that we created. So here it shows all of my information and is referencing my unique ID. And then if I check my email, I've only received the corporate credit card email since I had not made a selection for a seat assignment. So I'll only have this email arrive and won't have to worry about the seat assignment at all. Now I'm going to close out of the app to return to the flow platform again. And then I can close the run window. And now I want to create an outcome from my thank you step element to my employee app page page element. So I'm just going to create an outcome from this element, my step element to my page element. And in this name text box and label text box, I'm going to enter the word back. And then for the appearance, I'm going to select back from the drop down. So essentially what I've done here is I'm creating a clickable button to allow me to go back within my app. So I don't always have to close the app and rerun it. I can actually create it so that it will go back within the app. So I'm going to click on save outcome. And then here, if you'll see, the outcomes are a little bit blended together. So if I click here, I'm going to see this green box that appears over my decision element. Actually, I'm going to select that green box and I'm just going to drag my back outcome up here. So it's a little bit better visibility. If I click on the canvas, it removes the green box. And now we can see where the back outcome is shown. And now that brings us to the end of activity 13. Now please take approximately 40 minutes to complete activity 13 using your activity guide and referencing pages 96 through 106.